is Google Vicious or Virtues. Larry Page and Sergey Brin, 1995 Burnham at Stanford University. They created a search engine that used links to determine the importance of individual pages on the World Wide Web and they called it Backrub. A short time later, they changed the name as Google, which perfectly reflected the mission of organization, the world's information so that it would be accessible and useful for all. After a while, the company has expanded rapidly. Nowadays, with more than 60,000 employees in 50 countries, Google creates hundreds of products used by billions of people around the world. Their passion for creating technology for everyone remains untouched from its starting date to today. We already know the history, mission, vision and values of Google, but does this great company have a good reputation in social responsibility? The answer will be given by the virtues and vicious circle of ethics. Is Google virtuous or vicious? The circle demonstrates the relationship that exists in a company between decision making, motivation to employees, the construction of a business culture, and reputation as a result. All these will consist of three essential elements, the people, the environment, and the organization itself. If the company makes good ethical decisions, it will motivate its employees, thereby creating an ethical business culture as a result will have a positive ethical reputation. This is what is termed as the virtuous circle. On the contrary, the vicious circle will be generated as a result of the company's bad decisions. With this, its employees don't feel motivated, don't build an ethical business culture, and therefore can exist the lack of a good reputation. First of all, we will analyze your vicious circle. What ethical decision making has Google taken that has motivated its employees? On the other hand, Google has established a very strict code of conduct to be followed by suppliers that want to be a business relationship with this great company. Google is committed, therefore, to terminate the relationship with suppliers that don't comply with a series of standards in relation to the defense of workers' human rights. Minimizing adverse effects on the community, the environment and resources, natural resources and the maintenance of the highest ethical standards. This action is very important because they don't get only do things around the world but also all the companies that want to work with them also do them. This action motivates Google employees because they know that their rights are going to be respected and also that they are working for something good in society. On the other hand, Google has a genius of compensation both monetary and non-monetary to its workers. This action by Google is the main reason for the enormous motivation that employees have to work in this company. Let's talk about some examples of interesting monetary compensations. Google decided to raise the salary and give a bonus to its all employees to thank for their trust and loyalty. As related with non-monetary, Google employees can manage their own without being limited in their abilities or schedules. They are free and the company trusts them. This relaxed, creative and fun environment benefits the staff psychology. The good decision making or ethical actions of Google has contributed to the good attraction of its employees who feel motivated. All this has allowed the creation of a strong ethical culture that today is characteristic of the company. How is it a strong and ethical business culture? An ethical business culture must be primarily a strong culture where the majority of employees are committed to the mission of the company, feel identified with their values, with little supervision, with great flexibility for workers without fear of risk, and there is enormous interest in the welfare of the entire organization. Fortunately, all the above features are fulfilled by our company Google. Everything said has a result and this is very positive because Google is considered the most responsible company in the world and the company perceived as a responsible improves its reputation. 
However, has Google Act always ethical? Now we are going to show you its visual circle. On the other hand, there is inequality, both in terms of salary and in positions of responsibility between men and women. In fact, they have been accused by the US Department of Labor of the wage gap between both genders. It should also be added that in 2012, Google was left with only one woman as manager, Susan Wojcicki, sister of Larry Pay's wife. This negatively affects the motivation of the workers, especially the women, because it doesn't stimulate them to develop their careers and give the best of themselves for the company. Likewise, it damages their image and reputation in front of the society causing them bad reputation, appearing these news about reputation in newspapers like New York Times, The Guardian or The Country. Remember that Google is a service and if people decide to use other search engines, in the long run it could disappear. On the other hand, there is a leakage of information among which disclosure of email and data of Wikileaks journalists to the United States, allowing third parties to read their users' emails knowing the location of their users at all times and the most recently the leak of 100,000 of data from user Google Plus which has caused the closure of the platform. Given these unethical actions, how has Google reacted? As we just said, in 2018 Google made the decision to close Google Plus which will definitely take place in August 2019. As a result, there will be no more leakage of information in this platform. In addition, in terms of inequality between men and women at the organizational level, in 2015, Google finally made the decision that a fifth of the technical contracts involved the recruitment of women and in the position of power. The percentage of female workers by 24%. Thanks to the decisions, Google has changed its bad performances. If any company wants to operate ethically and have a good reputation, they will have to follow this gem, just as Google is doing.